cleaning. So today I'm going to show you some basic steps, what you need to do to get your garden ready for the new growing season. I've got my hair pulled back and I've got my working gloves on. So let's get to work. All right, here we have just some basic daylilies. Um, and this is just some dead growth. This is very normal in the fall when the frost hits, the leaves die back. And I just like to leave the leaves on here for the winter. I think it adds good winter protection for the plants. And so in the spring, uh, all you need to do is you just grab a hold like this and pull them back. And as you can see here in the plant, we've got new growth starting to come in. So that means it's time. It's time to get those dead leaves off so that the new growth can grow in. You can get a great start to your spring season. Here is a row of daylilies in full bloom. Here we have some bearded iris that the leaves have died back over the winter. A lot of times in the fall, I'll try to trim the leaves down and clean those out. That's a good way to keep your iris leaves healthy. But as you can see, there's still always some dead leaves that remain. So in the spring, same thing, just like with the daylily, you just wanna grab a hold here. You just wanna pull these off like that. And as you can see, if you can take a close look here, we've got a lot of green leaves here that are starting to come up with the irises. They are ready to get growing. This is a bearded iris garden in full bloom. I've got peonies right here that I didn't get completely all cleaned up in the fall. A lot of times you can cut them back in the fall, but if you don't get to it in the fall and you want to take care of it in the spring, that's perfectly fine too. I've just got some basic garden clippers here because these don't pull out quite as easily. So I just go along and I'm going to clip these off like this and I just keep clipping and clipping like so and then I'm just going to kind of pull it away. some peonies if you can see that pink stuff right there where the peonies are starting to poke out of the ground. These are some large pink peonies. Like the daylily and bearded iris they also come in many colors. I've got a lot of work ahead of me so I'm going to get to it and I'm going to see how much this garden I can get cleaned off. Here cutting off the old grass. It's a nice March day. I'm getting her done. Spring cleaning in the garden isn't quite so bad when you got a nice gardening stud like this to help you out. All right, so we've got the garden all cleaned up. We've got all the dead leaves cleaned off. And some of you might want to know why is it important to clean the dead leaves off of the garden? Well, there's a couple reasons. One reason is it just makes the garden look cleaner and tidier to get all of that dead brush cleaned off. Another reason it makes the plants underneath, it makes it easier for them to grow up so they don't have to fight through all of that dead brush. Now also if there's disease in the plants, if you clear all that, those dead leaves away, it helps keep the disease under control. And finally, a lot of times bugs and insects, they like to lay eggs in those leaves in the fall. So if you clear those leaves away and remove those leaves, it does help to keep your bugs and your insect population under control. Now I talked about a couple perennials earlier in this video and a perennial is a plant that once you plant it, it continues to come back year after year after year. And those perennials that I talked about was a daylily, a bearded iris, and a peony. Those are some very basic perennials that really require very little maintenance. So if you think you might be interested in starting a flower garden, those would be three that I would highly recommend starting with. Next, I will probably sprinkle some granular substance in my garden, which will help control weed seeds from germinating, and it will also fertilize the flowers when they come up. After that, you hope for a nice little rain that will really start to green everything up. And in our next video, I'm going to talk to you about mulch and why mulch is important. So until next time, thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.